Welcome to Orlando Attractions Magazine, the show. This week we take you to downtown Disney to show you what went down at this year's Festival of the Masters. And then I sit down for an exclusive interview with the Disney sculptor and movie puppeteer, Terry Harden. As always, we've got theme park news, travel tips, a new giveaway, and more coming at you. And it's all happening right, right now. now. you by Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade Disney items. Visit their showroom right here in Orlando or online at ThemeParkConnection.com. Mouse Fan Travel is our preferred travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MouseFanTravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of online discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other Orlando area attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Jenny Lynn. And I'd like to start this week by saying thank you to everyone out there for all of the birthday wishes. It was really overwhelming to hear from so many people, but it meant so much. I had a wonderful day. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, thank you. Well, what about me? I, I wish you a happy birthday on Facebook and, and on Twitter and I text messaged you, so where's my thanks? Thank you, Banks. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> well, what did you end up doing? Oh, it was such a good day. So it was pretty much an all Disney day from start to finish. I woke up, I had lunch at Sanaa, Kidani Village, mm -hmm. my favorite resort. Um, the table is right next to the window, so I got to look at all of the giraffes and zebras while I was eating my vegan meal. After that, a couple of us went over to the Animal Kingdom, my favorite park, and we did Wilderness Explorers for okay. a little while. It was my first time trying that out. Nice. And I loved it. It was really cute. So I think it's something that even adults can, can get into. Uh -huh. You get yourself in the right mindset and are flexible enough to be a little bit silly. And um, then after that, we went off Disney property temporarily for a dinner. We had a little over 20 people there, mm -hmm. which was really nice and had a good time. And then after that, a few of us went back to Disney property and ended the evening with a movie at the Grand Floridian. Because you know yeah. they do those outdoor movies. A lot of the Disney resorts do that, yeah. Yeah, they do the outdoor movies almost every single night. I think it might be every single night. I think. Yeah, so um, Monsters University was at Grand Floridian. We sat on the beach, it was right by the water. It was this beautiful full moon, rings around the moon, and watched the movie while we ate cake. It was great, my kids loved it, had a good time, and, and that ended my very perfect birthday. Well, it sounds like it was a lot of fun, but I mean, very obviously a busy week you had last week. How are you yeah. going to top that next week? Well, uh, I'm glad you asked. Mm. I will tell you all about it in this week's News in the Queue. Well, we wanted to start this week with some big news that's very near and dear to us. Theme Park Connection, our home away from home, will be holding its grand reopening this Saturday with giveaways and more. The new, much larger showroom is conveniently located near the Florida Mall, just minutes from the Orlando International Airport. The big event will feature prizes including rare Disney memorabilia and a three-day Disney cruise, as well as an exclusive costume worn by the Marvel character in the movie The Hunger Games. Yeah, if you've seen The Hunger Games, uh, the, the first one, it's the, the costume he wore when, when Katniss kind of, you know, shot an arrow at him. So it, it's cool. It's, it's the that actual screen worn cool. costume. And also on hand will be Disney legend Bill Sully Sullivan, former vice president of the Magic Kingdom. Free food and drinks will be provided all day, along with a 20% discount on all merchandise. The grand reopening is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. this Saturday, November 23rd. Guess who's going to be there? Oh, oh, don't tell me this. Um, I think we're going to be there, right? Yes. All right. We'll be there from 11 to 1. So be sure to come on by and, and say hi and enjoy the great showroom they have here. Yeah. I really love it here. We hope you do. Now, in other celebration news, Green Meadows Petting Farm will be hosting the Festival of Cultures, honoring the diverse cultures that have contributed to Osceola County. Guests will have the chance to experience Native American musicians and dancers, Asian acrobats, 
English comedians, and more. There will be face painters, hay rides, train rides, and of course the opportunity to interact and feed the animals. The Festival of Cultures runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. November 21st through the 24th. Tickets are $10 per person, and a portion of the proceeds go to the Osceola Historical Society. This one gets my thumbs up. Yeah? Yes. When we went to Green Meadows Petting Farm to do the segment for the show, mm -hmm. my children and myself loved it. It's just this very cute quaint attraction yeah. that can be so easily overlooked but shouldn't be. I know. I loved I loved, you know, the the pen where you can just go and, and try and catch a duck and <laughs> or catch a chicken. That's it's so much fun. It's very hands on. Yeah. Very hands on. I love it. And finally this week, Red Oven Pizza Bakery has opened its doors at Universal City Walk. The restaurant is a mix of quick and table service, with team members delivering food to the tables, which are outside underneath an awning. The menu includes pizza, salads, drinks, and wine. The pizza Peaches? Peaches. Nope, just pizzas. Well, if you want peach on the pizza, it's all you if you like that. But the pizzas <laughs> are all made in-house using a special oven that can fully bake a pizza pie in 90 seconds. Who doesn't like pizza? It's in fast, too. Yeah. And you can watch them. You can you can stand there and uh, and watch them prepare the dough, you know, th throwing it up in the air and put all the toppings on there, throw it in the oven. Uh, putting it in the oven takes about 90 seconds, but from prepping the dough to getting the toppings on and delivered to you, I think it takes just, uh, just about three minutes. So it's entertaining briefly mm -hmm. as well as satisfying. Yes, and free drink refills, of course. And uh, the team members there have been very, were very polite when I went by and then tried it out. Uh, if your drink was uh, empty, they just came to your table, grabbed it and refilled it and brought it back to you. You can get it to go too. They have boxes. I really like it. It's a nice little new offering for City Walk. We're going to have to go on out there. Yes. Pizza. We'll have to make our own pizza. Can you, can you toss the dough in the air? I certainly will give it my best. It'll probably just land on my face. <laughs> For the Hidden Mickey of the Week, I wanted to jump on to the Great Movie Ride, which contains a lot of great hidden images. In the first part of Gangster Alley, Mickey Mouse's brown shoes and tail poke out at the lower left from under a James Cagney poster, The Public Enemy on the left side of the ride vehicle. Pretty cool image. Located just minutes from Orlando International Airport, Theme Park Connection offers a wide variety of pins, props, figurines, artwork, signs, decor, cast member exclusives, and other one-of-a-kind finds. Looking to sell your old collectibles? Theme Park Connection will buy them from you. Visit their brand new warehouse in Orlando or find them online at ThemeParkConnection.com. Every year, Downtown Disney plays host to the Festival of the Masters. This is a favorite local event which features hundreds of visual artists specializing in every sort of medium. That's right. Guests have the chance to see amazing works from sculptors, painters, and more. And they also get the chance to talk with some Disney artists. And we sent Patrick out to cover the event this year, and here's what he experienced. We are here for Festival of the Masters at Downtown Disney, and as usual, they are showcasing everything from drawings to paintings to arts and crafts, the popular chalk art, and some new items this year. So let's go see what they have. See, I like the unique art. Not just painting and drawings, but 3D sculptures. Those are cool. So this year in the festival, there was a voting process for you to create a painting of a character in which Oswald was chosen. Right. Now, besides the character, was the rest of the painting all your idea? Uh, yeah. Um, I, you know, I started with, I think, 10 characters and um, just my favorite kind of a lot of more unknown characters. There was a few that were really well known, Rapunzel and stuff like that. But a lot of them were just, you know, ones from my childhood that I remember little things like there was even Hop Low on there from Fantasia, right? And um, so we kind of put that out and had the readers vote on it and see what their favorite would be. You guys picked Oswald. It was great, you know, because it had this idea of, of him just kind of um, subtly tied into Mickey and Disney and the whole thing and like how I was going to do that. So Oswald's holding three balloons They actually make a hidden Mickey and the idea that Mickey is lifting him back up um, was kind of you know what I was going for there like 
you know, he, he kind of was the precursor to, to Mickey, the catalyst for Walt to make Mickey. And so that's why I just think he's, he's very important to me, I guess. Um, and the painting's called Oswald's Drama. He's on stage. He's gotten a little carried away holding these, these three balloons that are a little too big for him but it's lifting him up to a better place. So everyone's really excited about the expansion of Disney Springs, sure. but there are actually some elements that are happening right now and are rolling out, no pun intended. I heard yeah. there are food trucks Absolutely. here. Uh, tell me a little bit about those. Yeah, we're very excited about that. And, uh, and so are our guests. There really has created a lot of buzz about the food trucks coming into town. So this morning, we're actually uh, unveiling our first one, which is our uh, Hollywood Studios truck. And it um, is focused on meatballs. And I had a few of them yesterday. I can tell you they're quite nice. Uh, from lamb to beef um, and even a vegetarian option. So I think our guests are going to love it. A lot of variety. Absolutely. So this is one of the new food trucks here at Downtown Disney. Now this one's inspired by Disney's Hollywood Studio. So let's see what's on the menu. Looks like we got some meatball sliders, meatball sandwiches. Yeah, I'm going to go with the kids because I'm a little, little on a diet today. Um, can I get the kids? Slider. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh wow. These are very fancy meatballs. So we got a couple items to try from the Disney food truck here. Uh, this is the kids meatball sandwich. It looks like a nice meatball with some provolone cheese on it, some nice kettle cooked chips, and a chocolate chip cookie of course. And then for the adults we also have, this is a turkey sausage with golden raisin meatballs and polenta which looks delicious. I'm really excited to try this. I have a good meatball. Hi. Can I get a green one? Green for me. And then we have markers and stickers on all the tables you can decorate. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> Arts and crafts. So while you're making your way through downtown Disney, check out the new walkway right next to Characters of Flight. It has a beautiful view of the waterfront. So along the new pathway, they set up some new concept art of the Disney Springs. And check out these boat cars. Those are the coolest boats I've ever seen. So LEGO has always made a big presence here at the Festival of the Masters. And of course, we're building big scale models. What do we have this year? We have the TIE Fighter from Star Wars, very iconic. And so this baby right here is, uh, is made out of little bricks that look like this. So the kids actually build this four times bigger that ends up being this big. And so I take and replace all the little ones on this model right here with the ones that the kids build. They get an Ooga Chucka when they build one, but Ooga Chucka like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And so this baby right here, so this is uh, is gonna be four times bigger. So it's gonna be about nine and a half feet tall and about nine and a half feet wide. So one of the most interesting parts of the festival here is the chalk art. So let's see what they got started this year. Well, that's a look at Festival of Masters here at Downtown Disney this year. If you missed it, it is an annual event, so just make sure to check out for dates next year. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Puppeteer, sculptor, actress, comedian, theme park designer. What are you doing? I'm trying to list all the things that Terry Harden has done in her life. Well, good luck. She's done just about everything. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot author. You did. And I recently just got the opportunity to sit down with Terry to discuss her amazing career with Disney and in the film industry and her new book, Tales from Terry, A Disney Sculptor's Life. Now, the full interview can be found on our YouTube channel, but here are a few highlights. 
Many of us talk about working hard to fulfill our dreams. Well, our guest today went beyond talking. Serving as an inspiration, she reached for the stars and actually caught one in her career as an artist and puppeteer. With 30 years experience, we all have seen her amazing skills showcased in blockbuster films and television hits, as well as theme park attractions across the world. Welcome, Terry Harden. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, Terry, familiarize us with some of your most popular work. The most popular work, I think the number one thing here in Florida, for example, is the Splash Mountain ride vehicle, which has the rabbit on the front and which has the wood texture on the sides. The rabbit actually is my creation and you can find it both here and in Tokyo. It was probably my second time I was Imagineer and then I, w I left and then I came back and it was my first project after that and it was probably one of the most most uh, fun and whimsical ones that I got to do. Now how did you get your start? Well I started out as um, as most of you do a young artist that had a huge dream and the first thing that I can tell you and often talk about it in the book as well Tales from Terry the reason I wrote is is mainly for anyone who wants to be an artist for a big company whether you're actor, performer, um, artist, sketch artist, animator it's all kind of the same process. You want to document your work and it talks about sort of step by step my journey and then also how you can prepare now whether you're 6 or 60 for that opportunity that may um, come along. So the very first job that happened was a little job called BB Beagle for Hanna-Barbera. Um, Muppets had just announced that they were their final year and Al the industry was trying to ride the Muppet bandwagon and do that happen. Well, I had been building puppets for seven years as a young child, as a young person. I was 16 years old at the time. And um, he saw my work and just went, oh my God. <laughs> and that's what you want to happen. You want them to see what you've been doing, even if you hate it. And then they see your journey and they say, wow, this person is really dedicated to what they wanted to do. They just kept doing it because you never know what it is that they see that you're going to fall in love with. We like to focus on the theme parks here at Orlando Attractions. Yay! And you have done extensive work in that industry. Let's focus a little bit on that. Can we talk about some of the things that you've done, uh, specifically in Orlando, I suppose? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Imagine. Imagine you're an artist. And imagine one day you're told that you're going to design an attraction for the greatest company in the world, Walt Disney Imagineering, Walt Disney Productions, Walt Disney Pictures, you name it. And it doesn't sink in because you're an artist and you dig deep and you focus. But then the next thing you do is you go to Florida, you go to Splash Mountain, you sit in that boat, your boat that you carved the outside of, you pet your rabbit, and you watch your rabbit as you go down that flume. It's an experience you are never going to forget. People say, what legacy will you leave? For me, you can sit in, pet, walk over, and walk through attractions that I've done. Dragon's Lair Paris is the most popular. Dragon's Lair Paris made me cry the first time I saw it. The dragon is mine, the show design is mine, everything in there I designed from the ground up. Do I get credit for it? Not really. But those who know me know it's mine and those who know what's going on, but it, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's beyond, you know. You've had some really great experiences in the Disney company and in time they put you in different places such as Captain EO. Mm -hmm. You've gotten to work with some really great people because mm -hmm. of that. Tell us a little bit about that experience and your role in everything. Phone rings. And a guy says, yo, Terry, you want to work with Michael Jackson? And really, guys, I don't listen to a lot of music, so I didn't know who he was, but I was like, yeah, that's okay. Okay, I'd like that, yeah. Would you like to work with George Lucas? Mmm, I'm a Star Wars fan, so getting a little better. Or Francis Ford Coppola? Oh, I'll work for free. <laughs> because I was a big fan of Francis Ford Coppola and Godfather films. And so they said, well, we need you to report down to the stage. You're going to be building the Whip Warriors. That was my first job. Now I play Idy and Odie. How did I get that? You'd love to say it was because I was talented. But the reason I originally got Idy and Odie was because the puppet weighed over 30 pounds and I was the only one who could lift it. So that's how I got it. I could not only lift it, but I could perform it. So that's how I got this character. Very heavy two-headed bird character. Unbelievable. But it meant 
uh, two weeks with Michael Jackson that turned into six months working side by side with Michael, which was just a dream come true. I may not have been a fan before, but I was definitely a fan after I got to know him. It certainly is mm -hmm. a great performance, one we all still watch today. Mm -hmm. Now, all of this culminates in your book that you've written, Tales yeah, from Yeah, I'm Terry. shamelessly holding it here. Yes. So what can <laughs> we expect to find in this book? Now, this book is a little bit different because, as I said, your journeys are your journeys. This book was created for collectors. Collectors started collecting my miniature work at events in 1998. How did this happen? I'm at an antique store, meet Tony Baxter, say everybody's hiring me to do Disney work, but they're not Disney. Tony says, become a collectible sculptor, and bam, I'm a collectible sculptor. That's the beauty of Tony Baxter. I started to collect these pieces, but they, w they sold so quickly, many of my collectorship that came later never got to see the early pieces. So they kept saying, would you put a book together that shows your work before we knew you as collectors? So that's what this little volume one, says right here, is because I realized I had more. I wanted it to be a thin book. You see that, guys? So you could carry it. Those of you who are collectors know it's like a tome and you're like, you can't take it with you. Look at the, the drawings and maybe match it. I know how you guys like to do that. And so there's photos in here. For those of you who like covers only, you got that. For those of you who like photos, you got that. That's me and Guillermo del Toro. Why is he there? He's my biggest fan, if you can believe it. <laughs> um, I didn't. You'll see these lines here. This is a place for you to write down your ideas if you're a young artist. There's also places for you to sketch. There's the added bonus of being able to contact me via Facebook right here so that we can brainstorm about your work. What do you want to do? But yeah, this book is basically just to help you guys and, and be a fun little book. Also the price point, because let's face it, the tomes are not 20 bucks. The tomes are like what? They're just, come on, I mean really, you know? <laughs> And I know you don't want to sell your firstborn for every Disney book. <laughs> I get that. So I kind of am an advocate for the pass holder because I, I are one. So <laughs> that, that's why. Well, it's so exciting. We've all got the start of something really great here. It sounds like we've got more exciting things to look forward to coming from you. Thank you so much for your time and talking you. with us today, Terry. Thank you. And if I can speak at your event or do something like that, I'd love to. You can catch me at most of the Disney races. I'm kind of addicted. So uh, that story later, okay? But yeah, I've, I've had a great time and you're, you're lovely. Well, looking at, looking at her smile is worth it, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Whatever the occasion, one of the most exciting places to have a celebration is at a theme park. To make your special day a little more special when attending Universal, Disney, Busch Gardens, or Legoland, be sure to ask at the front turnstiles for a celebration button. The parks each offer different types of celebratory buttons from it's my birthday or it's our anniversary to simply I'm celebrating. Here's one that even shows you your first visit. These buttons are typically free of charge and are a great way to let employees and other guests alike celebrate with you. Are you heading to Orlando? Don't pay full price for your theme park admission tickets. Undercover Tourist ships the exact same tickets straight to your door for less than gate price. All tickets are new, authentic, and backed by one of the best refund policies. Add on your car rental and save up to 50% on your vacation package. Find the best day to visit each park along with other insider tips and planning tools at UndercoverTourist.com. Visit UndercoverTourist.com and buy your tickets today. So this week, can we give away a Disney cruise like Theme Park Connection is giving on Saturday? That's a great idea. You mm -hmm. just uh, pulled the money out of your pocket. You can do that, right? You can afford it. We're going to nix that idea. Oh, okay. Well, Theme Park Connection did provide our prize for this week, but oh. if our fans want to win a cruise on Disney Cruise Line, they'll have to come here to the grand opening on Saturday. And it's another reason for you guys to come out here in addition to meeting yeah. us. Yeah, I know <laughs> she tried, so. <laughs> but we still have an awesome prize to give away. Speaking of which, our lucky winner from last week is Jeff Britton, who said, Happy 23rd birthday, Ginny Lynn. I like this guy. Keep up the good work. You too, Banks. Oh, oh. happiest birthdays. 
It's a continual birthday celebration here. <laughs> Congratulations, Jeff. Your tablet holder and Santa Claus mug will be on their way from Theme Park Connection as soon as we hear back from you. Now this week we're giving you a chance to win this great prize here from the uh, Disney Art Collection here. Yes. This is a um, representation of the poster for the um, Tiki Birds. Enchanted Tiki Room. This is designed by um, Kevin Kidney and Jody Daly. It's artwork adapted from the uh, original attraction poster. It's still on sale in the parks, but we're going to give it away to our fans for free. I have to say, I feel like the giveaways are getting better and better every week. Yeah. To the point that I'm having difficulty carrying out these giveaways. Because you just want to take them? Because I don't want to actually give these things away. <laughs> I want to keep them. But I can't. So, you can, and to enter, just subscribe to our channel on YouTube and post a comment below this episode. We'll choose one person at random from the comments. Only one comment per person, please. And you need to post it by the end of next Tuesday, November 26, 2013. Now, I think we're at that time of the show when we get to recognize just a few of our loyal fans. You mean shout outs, right? Why, well, yes. yes. Yes, I do. Yes, awesome. Well, I want to start us off with a shout out for Steve Mathers from the UK. He wanted to wish me a happy birthday, for which I say thank you and to let us know that he and his family will be visiting us on Christmas Day. Oh, wow. That's a good choice because by then, all of the Christmas decorations here will actually make sense hmm. because yeah. Thanksgiving will be over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I'd like to give a shout out to David Todd, also from the UK. He and his partner Rob will be heading to Orlando for the first time next week and can't wait to put all our travel tips into practice. They'll also be celebrating their fifth anniversary, which should let them put this week's travel tip to good use. Yes, yes. And from Twitter, here's a shout out for Gracie XX, who is celebrating her birthday this week and wants to let us know that she'll be celebrating it down here next year. Oh. We hope that you'll come out and say hi to us when you do. And coming at us all the way down under in Australia is Ruve Sorensen, I hope I pronounced that right, who wants to say good day. Also, uh, that after the Sorensen family vacation to Orlando, their boys are still looking for hidden Mickeys everywhere they go. <laughs> Let us know if you find any. <laughs> I, 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 I find some sometimes like in the clouds or, you know, in the bushes, the stones on the ground. Flowers the, in the shrubs. Always looking for hidden Mickeys. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, finally, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea. For a free quote without obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. And much thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade theme park items. Visit the showroom here in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. We're also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando's attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. And remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each and every week on YouTube, iTunes, and Bright House Cable. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Also, don't forget Attractions Magazine com for news and videos throughout the week and of course the magazine itself it's available in print on the nook and in our new updated app our fall issue is available now inside you'll find great stories on the new transformers ride wiki watchy springs the tower of terror and much much more and i believe that that brings us to a close this week and next week will bring us one more week closer to christmas uh-huh uh -huh. what oh yeah well uh, i guess it's going to be thanksgiving as well next week yeah yes that's right Gobble, gobble. <laughs> and after your turkey dinner, don't forget to turn on our show. You know what I'm thankful for? What? I am thankful for awesome Christmas decorations that I can hang in my house whenever I want. Until then, we hope to see everyone out here at Theme Park Connection on Saturday. It should be a blast with all of the giveaways and special surprises. If you can't make it, no hard feelings. You can still catch us right here on the show each and every week. That's right. And of course, as always, try something new. Stay safe. But most of all, have, have fun. fun. Showcasing everything from art to scop, scoptures, scoptures. It really meant so much to me that you guys, you know, came at me with all of the blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. That's a funny thing to type out. If our fans want to win a cruise, though, they'll have to come out down, uh, come on, on down, down here. Come on uh, down the road. <laughs> oh, trouble, trouble, trouble.
Oh, we're doing Jenny Lynn Sings. Is she recording? Yeah. Um, this week, it is Taylor Swift Trouble. Or Does it have to be Taylor what? Swift? 